I am glad to present you the work Evening Cottage Scene by Arthur Claude Strawn. Somewhere in nowhere. There is a path across the painting that we seem to have come to and will continue to follow. On this walk through the English countryside, we have come upon the cottage at the side of the path and have stepped aside to take a closer look. As invisible observers, we are presented with an evening scene that is all the more characteristic for its casualness, and that tells of the contemplative side of country life, which takes place timelessly away from the hustle and bustle of the city. The chimney of the cottage, which seems to have stood here forever, is smoking, and the door of the house is a little bit open. Apparently, the neatly dressed woman of the house has come out to fetch water to prepare the meal. She will go back inside, and also the ducks are probably on their way to their hutch. In the direction in which the ducks are moving and in which the path leads, the sky on the horizon is inflamed by the evening red. Evening is approaching, and the whole picture is filled with an evening atmosphere that will pass into the blue hour. Even the water of the stream reflects the reddish sky. It is in the depiction of the water that Strachan's mastery of watercolor is revealed. Not only is he able to depict both still and moving water, but he is also able to depict the reflections on the water and the water as a transparent medium through which we can view the riverbed. This technical virtuosity, however, does not stand alone. It is an essential moment of the pervading atmosphere of the picture, to which the flower garden, merging into the wild nature, also contributes. The gate to it is open or missing, which is like an invitation to have a closer look at the flowers and to enjoy the beauty of this cultivated creation. The evening atmosphere is also present here, the sunflowers have already tilted their heads. The entrance to the cottage is also flanked by flowers, while plants grow from the roof. Together with the thatched roof and the half-timbered walls, the house itself looks like a part of nature which is further enhanced by the fact that the windows to the left of the entrance reflect like the surface of the water. The whole scenery could have been taken from William Morris's utopian novel News from Nowhere, 1890, and shows that utopia is not utopia but reality. Thank you for your attention. I hope I have been able to show you the qualities of the artwork.